Good afternoon. I'm Chelsea Jones. Three homes have been destroyed and two others damaged in a late night fire on Prudence Island. Luckily, no one was hurt. We're told the state fire marshal's office has concluded its investigation and we're waiting on that update this hour. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh is joining us now after getting a close up look at the damage on Prudence Island. We're on the ferry headed back from Prudence Island to Bristol. This ferry ride is about a half hour long, but the Portsmouth Fire Department has a brand new boat, and they said they were able to make it from Portsmouth to Prudence Island across this part of Narragansett Bay in just five minutes. And when every second counts, that was crucial in stopping the spread of the flames. They knew it wouldn't be easy as soon as they saw it. A blazing horizon in the dead of night. Flames from Prudence Island lighting up Narragansett Bay. And still, Portsmouth firefighters didn't waste a second jumping into marine rescue around 11 Thursday night, speeding into the flames. This is devastating to our little island here. And, uh, people lost their belongings. And, uh, three houses are destroyed, burnt right to the ground. And uh, it's... Uh, a difficult challenge when you know these people. These are our neighbors. At daybreak, 12 News went out to the island. Fire Chief Robert Thurber and his volunteer crew said they had to rush to get to the homes and the cistern of water they had available on an island without hydrants. And the pressure of the water hoses was abysmal. So right away, your, your, your stomach is just sinking because you know they're not going to be able to contain that fire. But help soon arrived from Portsmouth, Cranston, Newport, and a saving grace from Bristol, their new fireboat, which pumped seawater from the bay through the hoses and onto the houses. Still, the three homes at 14 and 15 Harishoff Lane and 830 Narragansett Avenue, all close together, were decimated. An elderly woman lived in the middle home where the fire started. She was able to get out safely and seek refuge with neighbors. The Prudence Island Fire Chief said already they've seen an outpouring of support from communities all off the island, offering ways that they can help these families who need it the most now. On the ferry in Narragansett Bay, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.